what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear in the crowd. Feeling bad. I the rattles on my wrist from whipping up Elizabeth. I done ran that dirty money up and gave that shit. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And today, let them know who we got in the building. You got your boy, Rich Baby himself, Mr. Drip Check. I already know it, man. All right, yes, yeah, Mr. Drip Check himself. So <laughs> let's get right into it. So I know you're from Rochester. Yep. So we've had like a couple of people from Rochester lately <laughs> on the show. Like, I don't know what's That's going on. That's a good thing. That's yeah, good I thing, mean, y'all doing y'all thing. Yeah. So like, tell me, who's on your radar right now? Who's on your playlist? From My playlist there? from up there? Yeah. Really, um, I be listening to a lot of artists like Class, uh, Viciani. Mm -hmm. He was just on here. Like, he I right. like... I fuck with their music, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So if you had to describe, like, the music scene in Rochester right now, how would you describe it? The music scene is, like, it's good. Like, everything going good with the music scene. Like, it could be, like, it could, it could be better for certain for certain artists, mm -hmm. like, to get back into working, like, consistently, consistently. But as in my lane mm -hmm. that I'm going right now, I feel like it's good, like, for me personally. I can't speak for everybody else, mm -hmm. but I know like music going good for me. But just like you said, there's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, coming on here from Rochester and shit. Right. That's just going good for everybody. So tell me about like your story growing up. How was it like growing up? And you grew in up in Rochester? Rochester? Yeah. Okay. I grew yeah. up in Rochester. How um growing up in Rochester is just like it's just like growing up out here in the city, like okay. it's just you know how people, uh, what do y'all call it, like a stoop or how y'all be on the blocks and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Like, it's just like that out there. Like, we just young kids running around, having fun, playing basketball. And some people get caught up into the, you know what I'm saying, the streets. And some people go straight forward with their dreams, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. growing up, up there is just, it's lit. Okay. It's lit. So you said some people... They get caught up in the streets. Some right. people, they go on and pursue their dreams. So right. where would you put yourself on that scale? Um, I'm not going to lie. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the music serious. Mm -hmm. But before then, it was just like it was a hobby. So I was like one music foot in, one hobby. foot out. Like, yeah, music was just a hobby. Like, okay. it was just like me making music for my area and my hood. Like, mm -hmm. Everybody else, everybody else in Rochester got an artist from they hood that they listen to. So, like, we had multiples of, of, of artists. I was like, you know what? Let me try to, you know what I'm saying? Let me try to make some music and see if they fuck with me. So, when was that that you decided to start taking um, music serious? I started taking it serious, like, i say probably, like, three years ago. Like, three years ago. But... I'm learning everything with the marketing side of it, the business side of everything. Like, that's what I mean by start taking it serious mm. now. Like, I say, like, this year is when I start taking that part of it serious. Because other than that, I was just making songs and just wanted my song to be heard. Mm -hmm. So I, I found out, like, I could make a good song that not just people in my city like. Right. Then I'm like, ah, nah, I, I really got to do this for real. So I'm curious, like, what was the wake-up call for you? Like, what inspired the wake -up you to call for me? It? Um, the wake up call for me really was just like understanding, like you know what I'm saying. You see my height, I'm sure I can't play basketball. I'm not a sports player, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying. Some people take the school route, but I felt like that wasn't the way I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And it was like before music and, and anything like that. Like I always like just have like a certain style of myself. Like I dress. People would, like would just tell me like, "Yo, man, like." Dressed like them rappers, like you feel me? Drip like, you might as well, yeah, <laughs> and, like you might as well rap. Mm -hmm. So I just started. I just started off making songs with other people that I, I I was cool with in the city, and people was like taking the air to it and, and was liking it. So I was just like, you know what? Let me do it. So you had the support from your city from the beginning. Not from the beginning, like no funny. I was one of the first artists out my town, like using like the uh, the auto tune sound. And you know, some people just like bar for bar music, and some people just like, like you know, what people call it mumble rap and all that. Like right. people wasn't really trying to hear that because everybody that was lit from my town was basically like bar for bar artists, like like Class Murder, mm -hmm. Viciani, mm -hmm. um, uh, Thirty Eight, people like that. But other than that, like 
I always be make I always been making music the sound that I'm that I'm making it now. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's ain't nothing new. I just got better. You mm. feel me? But everybody wasn't really liking the sound. Like oh no, I don't like that sound. Like oh, you know what I'm saying? People like oh you trash this and that and the third. But now people like caught the hang of it. Now it's like I was ahead of my time. So now everybody like the sound. Like oh now right. y'all like the sound. So it's just so different. So what song was it that everybody started fucking with? Um, I had a couple. I had I had a couple. I had one way back in the day. Like mm-hmm. this was a couple of years ago. I had uh opened up uh with Bobby Smurda like before he did his time and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But the song was called "By Felicia." Like I always was a, a, a artist to know. Like yo, you gotta make songs that's like trendy. Like right. you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I made a song called "By Felicia," and I had everybody in the town like, "Oh, that's crazy!" Like I did a show with um, I did I did that show with uh. I think nah, I don't think it was Bobby Smurda. I did Bobby Smurda at the club. I did that one with Meek Mills. Meek Mills bought me on stage and all that. And how how do you like performing? Like how you like being on stage compared to like being in a booth? Nah, that's a different. It's a every time. Look, I'm gonna say like this. Every time I'm in a booth, I make my songs. It sounds crazy, but I make my songs in 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 the booth as if I'm at a concert. Like every lyric that I say, it it gotta have a reaction. You know what I'm saying? To all right, so just so I could get a visual picture. <laughs> All right, we in the booth right now. So right. how would you, like, make it so that... How are you envisioning a crowd in front of you? Like, what's the difference? A difference is, okay, look. All right, so you know some... I'm a versatile artist. Mm-hmm. So if I got some songs where it's, like, pain songs, I'm just telling you my lifestyle and stuff, everything that I went through this week or that I've been through through my life, mm-hmm. like, it would be just... I'm reaching out to other people. Like I'm like I'm saying stuff in my songs that I know everybody else could relate okay. to. Okay, okay. But then if I make the turnt songs, I'm going off of what I know people want want to hear. Like if I hear the beat and that and the beat and the beat lit, mm-hmm. I'm like, I right, let me make this type of song because the crowd ain't gonna react to always pain songs. Like I I want to have that turnt. I want to mm-hmm. have that turnt music. Mm-hmm. So I just try to make the 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 the, the music that's gonna have a crowd lit. So when I make the music mm-hmm. in the studio. Mm-hmm. I just make sure I be saying saying the right stuff. Man. So make sure I be saying the right stuff. So would you say like you genuinely like making music? You genuinely yeah, I really like do. Music? I really do. Like I really do. I've been sitting. I've been sitting making music for a while. Like I'm talking about to the point where you know everybody when you're young. Oh, I want to be a basketball player. Like oh, I want to be a mm-hmm. rapper. I was just rapping bull crap. Like just walking from the store when I was young. Not even probably. Sounding, making nothing up, just <laughs> just humming, making words up, all that. Like I just knew I wanted to rap, but I didn't know that it'd be it'd come later on down life. Like mm-hmm. how it is. I asked you that because you mentioned like a few times that you keep your audience in mind, like yeah. while you're making your music. So yeah, because it's just like ain't like that's why that's why certain people uh uh is celebrities now and and, and rich now is because they fans. Mm-hmm. So I would rather put my fans first. Like I don't want to. Make no music that ain't gonna give me no fans and mm-hmm. ain't, ain't gonna have nobody relating to me and mm-hmm. nobody understanding me. So just like I want to have the fans that understand me. Okay. So hypothetically speaking, right? If you made music mm-hmm. but nobody was like reacting to your music, nobody right. was listening, like you weren't getting no streams, no views, right? Would you keep making music? No. Or, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Nah, I'm about to go, go get me some money. So what would be the whole turn? Because you see, because like sometimes I'll ask like artists, like, would you still be making music? And nah, they'd be like, yeah. It, it'd like, be like, it'd be like, it'd be like, I make it for me, but it wouldn't be like, I wouldn't throw like thousands behind it mm. and I know ain't nobody liking it. Like, at so the you end would of the just day, turn to something else. Yeah, like, I, I would figure something out. I ain't about to just be rapping all my life and it, it ain't working out because at the end of the day, it's like, Something gotta give, man. Do something else. Mm-hmm. So the end goal for this is what? Like the music. Mm-hmm. The the end goal for this is is like to be at least one of the biggest artists, like from upstate New York, for me. But 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 get the same respect level as people in the city mm-hmm. of New York. I saw you take a picture, and you see, like my geography is not that great, so. 
don't don't judge me for this but you had a picture on your instagram and you were in front of a bridge i don't know what bridge you were in front of mm -hmm. but you were like i'm the hottest in the city or something like that it was like the caption oh yeah you talking about um i think it was the uh what is it called Dumb, dumb old bridge or so that was in new like, york city yeah so you saying you the hottest in new york city or you saying you the hottest in your city i'm the hottest in new york state yeah. you the hottest in new york state <laughs> yeah y'all just y'all just once everybody catch on man i'm telling you it's gonna be a different wave because it's like i'm bringing something different mm -hmm. i'm not uh, and and i ain't saying like no disrespect to the drill music and stuff like that but y'all see what lane that's is, is going with that now like they trying to like wash that down which they shouldn't be, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they just expressing themselves. Mm -hmm. But I'm just coming with a feel good music for everybody. I don't do dissing in my music and stuff like that. So it's just like everybody could, could fuck with my music. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not about to be dissing nobody, saying, oh, smoking him, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Like I'll probably be saying F the ops and all that. Everybody got somebody that don't like them. And if you don't like me, the feeling is mutual. So right. I'm gonna say F the ops, but I'm not gonna name drop. I'm not gonna do nothing like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like I said, Earlier, I said I just make I make stuff that's relatable. Everybody feel like it's, it's f the ops. Mm -hmm. Feel me? I feel like it's f me. I feel like it's f them. And I ain't gotta give you no clout. I'm not about to put your name in the song. I'm about to just make me a hit song, not a diss song. You heard? That's why. It's, that's why I feel like. That's why I feel like that personally. Honestly, too many people in in New York City is focused on dissing each other and just mm -hmm. giving each other clout. Like they giving people clout that don't need it. So what I just got from what you just said is basically like you're you don't stand by the whole boycott drill music, yeah, but don't. you also don't stand by dissing and yeah. Because look, when I, like what I mean by I don't I don't um stand on that because that's how people is making it out. Are they uh, uh hoods here? Like mm -hmm. some people making it out, they struggles doing that. So at the end of the day, I ain't about to t I'm not about to support nobody stopping somebody money flow feeding their family. Right. But then again, I'm not about to support. Nothing that's, you know what I'm saying, that could have one of my little cousins or, you know what I'm saying, end up killed in the streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, over a song, like, nah. So do you think that, like, what these artists are talking about in their songs, right. you think it really, like, shows itself on the streets? You think that, that like, it I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like, look, if, if, it's real, if it's real beef out here and everybody know you're supposed to just leave it in the streets at the end of the day. Mm hmm was just leaving the streets. I don't know why you put it on a song, cause you know what I'm saying. You see, you know what I'm saying. Free, free, all them, everybody that's locked up from over music. They getting the, they getting police locked. No, they getting locked up for their lyrics these days. Right. So at the end of the day, if you rap about it, they gonna really think you doing it, even if you lying. Yeah, you're you know incriminating yourself. You're incriminating yourself. Mm -hmm. So let's get back into you just real quick. So you had a name change because you yeah. used to call yourself what, Lil Luwak? Yeah, I had a Lil Luwak. So what, because I was like going through your YouTube and I saw like first it was like Lil Luwak and then yeah. in parentheses, Rich Baby, and yeah. then it switched. So and now boom. it's gone. So, so, so boom. When I, when I had put my name in parentheses, mm -hmm. I, had to, I had to do a name change so I could like legally like drop music. And it wasn't nothing to where the uh, label that I was with was, like, not letting me drop music or anything like that. It was just, like, I was just in a situation where I couldn't drop music because the head person that was running that at the time, they had something. They was caught up in something. You feel me? Mm. So we came to an agreement where it was, like, I, they didn't want to they didn't wanna let me go. So it was just, like, I, I could keep all the music I ever recorded. You know what I'm saying? Keep mm. all the music I ever recorded, and y'all could just push a little luau. But me, if I want to drop this new music, my sound that I want to make, like, I'm going to drop this new music under Rich so Baby. So you just started fresh. And, yeah, and I came up with the name Rich Baby because my team, like, my little label, you know how everybody got it in, in their hoods and in their cities? Mm -hmm. It's called, like, Living Rich. Mm -hmm. So I took the rich and put put it with the baby because I got a baby face, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, it, it go together. Now there's another rich baby. Yeah, that's a fact. It's more than I think more than one. Like I saw one from like Texas. Yeah, we had a we had a little altercation before yeah. too. Yeah. How? What do you think about that? Like, do you think that it's a problem for two rappers to have the same name or for multiple rappers? To have I mean, name? at the end of the day, I don't. It's just who gonna get more lit with it? Mm -hmm. Who gonna be bigger with it? And whoever bigger with it, hey, that's me. Not changing name. 
So did anybody say anything to you? Like once you changed your name, did anybody yeah, say Yeah, a lot of people, like I had a lot of fans come up to me like, yo, when you gonna drop new music? I'm like, nah, I did drop new music. Like, what you mean? It's like, yo, you gotta search up Rich Baby now. Right. So that's where the little Luwap in parentheses Rich Baby. Mm -hmm. So when everybody searched little Luwap, they, they see the Rich Baby music popping up. Right. Okay. So when you making your music, mm -hmm. is it based on like your real life experiences? Yeah, or that's a fact. Everything? That's a fact, yeah. Okay, because I got a question for you. What's up? <clears throat> so, you said <laughs> um, in first class, because <laughs> okay. I was really listening to this song, and I'm like, what are you class? talking about? You said you paid two bands for the cookie. What What exactly were you referring to nah, <laughs> when see, look, you said See, look, that? I ain't about to incriminate myself. <laughs> I wasn't talking about uh, pushing P. I wasn't talking about that. If you just say it like that, I'm say that. So I'm uh, pushing P. I'm talking about Cookie. Cause you, oh, okay. See, look, Cause see, I look, took it out of concept. Cause I'm yeah. like, you talking about, you was like, but look, yeah, though, but look, though. But see, look, then I say like, I say certain stuff that you'll make, you'll think, you, you, you're think it mean this, uh -huh. but it mean this. It can mean both ways, honestly. Some people big tricks out here. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know that's, that's the energy so you that wanna, I was getting if from you that. Wanna, if you want to take that lyric and you want to look like, you know what I'm saying, you paid two two bands for the cookie, <laughs> you went out sad, <laughs> but at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm talking about desire. Oh, yeah. so you say you going out sad, you don't think like... Nah, I, I mean, shoot, you could, you could, you could trick on somebody you love. You got it, you, you know? You could trick on somebody you love, man. I don't be fool out here, man. <laughs> I'm a fool. Do you feel like now that you like lit, you going up? Like, do you have a lot of like females like on you? Yeah, that's a fact. But I'm just rocking with one right now. Oh, yeah, and how is that? Man. Like, it's, it's exclusively. It's, man, we low, man. Out of sight, yeah. out of mind. Uh uh, not out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't do man. that. We ain't about to pop <laughs> don't, don't say that. We ain't about to pop out like that because you know when you do pop out when you're in relationships or vibing with people mm -hmm. and then you. It'd be the, the history, from other stuff popping up that you don't really care about, and it's just yeah, I mean, good. That's true. I try to stay out of I try to stay out of drama. I just keep my my energy positive. Okay. Because at the end of the day, everybody done had a female that somebody had before you, so it's just like right. I don't even feel like the old dude or whoever. And I'm saying, not saying that that's my situation right now, but not saying I don't want the old dude coming at me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm I'm a some I'm somebody with a name, so it's like I'm not about to. I might have took, I might have took your girl or something, and I didn't know. Some females just be don't they do, and the dude still be wanting them, and then you be vibing with her, and now, now the dude want to start problems with you because right. she wants you. Like, man, I'm good. So, at what point do you think, like, as an artist going up, like, when do you think is an appropriate time to bring your shorty out in the public, or you think that like she gotta stay low key for the whole time? I mean, I like being low key, man. <laughs> <laughs> no fun, you know. Because at the end of the day, it's like, when I do say, okay, say when I do blow up, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be like, it's not going to be hard to know. It's me, I'm too damn short. And like, oh, that's him, that's him. I want to have somebody that they don't know. Like, oh, that's her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yo, go out here for me. Yo, yo. Like, I, it ain't really going to be like that, but she could be able to to, to do her own thing without okay. being harassed. Like, I feel like you don't, you don't got to bring that in on everybody. They might not want to live that type of lifestyle. Because being it. known ain't, ain't, ain't it, man. You can't yeah. even walk nowhere. You can't even do normal stuff like how you used to. I can't even walk to a corner store. Really? Man, no. What's the craziest, like, <laughs> fan interaction that you've had When so I was at Walmart, like, no lie, it's on my, um, it's on my IG. Oh, like, I saw A fan you, like... ran out of Walmart, took her vest off at her job, and I don't know if she got fired or not. I don't think so. <laughs> but she ran out. She's like, you rich, baby? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I knew that was you. My friend said that was you. She's like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I had to run off. I had to run off the uh, register. Oh, she, run off the register. Yeah. Oh yeah, she lost her job. Yeah, she ran off the register. But that's she nice. Me, yeah, like that's the first time like I was signed somebody's skin. And how did that feel? That's so it nice. felt good. Like it felt good because it's just like that's why I do it for the fans at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So just to know somebody ran down on me like that, right. I was like, yeah, I'm on my way. That was in Rochester. Yeah, that was in Rochester. Oh, that's. Getting support from yeah. like from your people. That's a fact. Well, we segued like from from first class. Uh -huh. I do want to say that's my favorite song of yours Appreciate so far. It. Appreciate it. But I think it's interesting. Like you said, drip check is your hit. Yeah, but see, so 
Go ahead, go ahead. Nah, go ahead, go ahead. Because I don't know where your question was going. No, you might not. <laughs> okay, because my, my question just is like, how do you know that that's your hit? Like, to you, what is a hit? How do you know that a that's your hit? A hit is something that's that's viral, that's that's trendy. Like, anything that's that everybody could relate to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people that don't even, some people that don't even, Put it on, you feel like they put it on. I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Drip ain't just always designer everything. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You go to H&M, you get drippy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you feel like that's the hit because it's that's just, the one Yeah, it's just everybody. It, it's just me personally. That's the one that's getting the most feedback right now. So that's how I say that that's the hit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's going viral. Like, earlier I was explaining, like, people used to be saying outfit of the day, kicks of the day. Mm-hmm. Like, I dropped my song. You know what I'm saying? A while back, but before then, nobody was really saying drip check. Nobody was saying that for real. Mm-hmm. Like, if you really think about it, like, some people probably was, but it wasn't, like, big as it is now. So, and I explain, you know what I'm saying? I'm, everything I say be no cap. Like, I was never cap on camera. These people go vouch. Like, I know uh, Meek Mill's nephew, you know what I'm saying? He heard the song, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying? Meek Mill's probably not heard it from me, but you know what I'm saying? If his nephew been around him, he probably heard the song. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I know people that know Lil Baby, and they they mess with my music. You know what I'm saying? Lil Baby said Drip Check. Mm-hmm. Polo G said Drip Check, and I know somebody that be around Polo G. His name's Scory. That's his artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, so they said Drip Check, like, from your song? or they? I'm not saying it. I'm check. not saying it like it's from my song, but I feel like I made it. I feel like I'm making it, like, viral. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I'm looking on them platforms and seeing where that where that where that where that daily listeners is coming from, mm-hmm. and this is the main song that they playing. Oh, okay. So it's just like this is I know I know that y'all I know somebody important heard that from me. Mm-hmm. They watching me. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. definitely labels and stuff watching me. Right. But it's just like they don't know when to approach me. They want to see they self how big the song get. So, I mean, speaking of labels, do you, like, what are your thoughts on signing to a label versus being independent? Being independent, the best, honestly, the best way to be mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, you see young boy, he just popped up on IG just to post. Mm-hmm. Don't sign to the label that he's t- talking about. Don't sign to, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. he's the biggest artist, like, he's the biggest artist out right now, so... How you one of the biggest artists and you feeling like don't sign to a label? So how you think I'm going to feel? I'm not even that big yet. Right. And I mean, early in the conversation, you mentioned like you had a little situation with yeah, that's a label fact. you were signed to. So I'm pretty that's sure you could even speak from your own experience. Yeah, exa- is, exactly. So it's like when you do everything the right way, like when you do everything the right way, you 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 doing everything when it comes to business the right way. And then at the end of the day, when it's when it's time for people to let you go, they don't want to let you go. So I really just built my team that I got now. Like mm-hmm. I don't partnered up with Valley Entertainment. Like they out of my city. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Partnered up with them, and we on some type of level where we just locked in. Like we we don't really care for no label unless they letting us have our way. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They giving us our rights to our music and stuff like that, and letting us drop when we want to drop. Mm-hmm. But other than that, we ain't got we ain't got sign nothing because we already having the money that label got. Like we don't gotta. Take that money and you know what I'm saying, and, yeah. and 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 get it invested into us when we already doing it for us. So, are there any labels that you would consider signing to? Like, if you had to pick one, I mean, honestly, like really, I wouldn't even say I I, I could say a, a, a label I was signed to because right now it's just a name. I don't know their business, okay, like what they what fair. they do. Like, I can't, I can't be like, oh, I'll sign to. G unit or I sign Atlantic or stuff like that, like because that's just a name. I don't know the contracts that they got. Mm-hmm. So, nah, but right you now, I, very, yeah, that's a very good point because I, I feel like a lot of people when they like speak on labels that they would like to sign yeah. to, they look at it from they like for what they see how the other artists be. But right, you, you're not knowing how that relationship gonna be with you. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like you you could go like no funny, like I know somebody that. Know somebody, you know what I'm saying? They offered me something like, "Yo, you want to come over here with us?" And it's one of the it's one of the biggest artists in the industry. Like, they offered me like, "Yo, they liking your music," but it's like 17 people over there. Mm. So it's like, why would I be the 18th person? Right. And then it ain't even not one out of the 17 biggest. You know what I'm saying the main artist. So it's just like, nah. 
Especially I'd rather just the yeah, push your own stuff. Yeah. So who like would you say? Because I saw what um what's his name Jose Guapo. Yeah, Jose Guapo. That's he, my brother. He mentioned you when he mm-hmm. was on Dirty Glove. That yeah, we was gang. Cool. That we was gang dope. for real. So like, what other cosigns have you gotten since you started making music? Meek Mills. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the Guapo for sure. Um, a uh, 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 GT. That's a uh, Bayface Ray. Uh, okay. Um. It's a lot of artists that I personally know. I can't really say like a cosign because they just friends. Like like mm-hmm. they they actual real friends. So I wouldn't say like they like cosigning me or, or nothing like that because I'm not under them. Or, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I, that's what I really feel like a cosign is. A cosign I feel like is when like like you really under them. You feel me? Mm. Really? Like, yeah yeah. So if somebody like shouts you out like yeah you know shout all right, out so my boom. baby. All right so boom. I feel like. Once you shout somebody out, like how um, let's say this, how how Meek Mills was feeling about Roddy Rich. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying he was shouting Roddy Rich out the most. And he feeling like, you know what I'm saying? He gave him that cosign, he got him hot. So at the end of the day, they know what that was. You know what I'm saying? After you get a cosign, I feel like it's it's obligated that, you know what I'm saying, you show back love back to them. So mm-hmm. just like y'all locked in off of that cosign, they just put you on, which you was gonna say, all right. Appreciate it. Now I'm out. You know what I'm saying? So in your so in your opinion, a cosign is basically like putting somebody on as opposed to just yeah. like showing them love. And yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like I just say like a shout out is a different from a shout out and a cosign. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cosign is just really like, yo, y'all go listen to his music. Like he fire. Like, you know what I'm saying? A shout out is just, yo, shout out to bro, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Artists do that every day. Like mm-hmm. niggas be shouting out weed companies, niggas be shouting out shoe sellers. You're not everything. Wrong. That's just a shout out. So I heard that you are related to a big person in the yeah. industry. Yeah. Um, future. Yep. He's your That's my cousin. blood cousin. Yep. So how is it like being related to I don't really it's crazy because I don't really know him. Mm-hmm. I know his brother, uh, Bossman Casino. You know what okay. I'm like we really like then I got a song with him and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But Future is like he older than me, so he got he lit right now. He I don't even think he really be having time for really like a, a lot of family members, but I got family in the South mm-hmm. in, in New York. Mm-hmm. But my family that was in the South went to New York. Once we went to New York, we just separated. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But my grandma is is his aunt. Oh wow! Yeah. So yeah, y'all like blood blood related. Yeah, we so blood related. Would you do like would you do a song with Future? Hell yeah, I do a song with Future. <laughs> I'll do a song in future. Family ties. Man, listen, I already got I already got one with Boss Man Casino. Mm-hmm. And I'm already locked in with a lot of people from Free Band. So just like, yeah, I'll do a song with him. Who else would you like to like do a song with? Uh if you had to give me like so I'll I'll include him in your five. Mm-hmm. So if you had to name four more people that you would like to collab with, who would it be? Four more people. Mm-hmm. Um I'll do a song with Uzi. I do a song with uh, can you think really like who I really really gonna do a song with? Mm-hmm. Lil Wayne, Drake, and, um, the last what I do a song with? I do a song with uh, I do a song with Benny the Butcher, man. From you not know saying we upstate, but it. Oh yeah, that's a good, yeah. good choice. Okay. And like, who are you? Who are your top five artists right now? Like, who's on your playlist right now? Well, my playlist. Mm-hmm. Uh, I couldn't really say I got top five. I just like, I just like, I just like with pretty much with everybody else. Like, honestly, like I wouldn't say like I'm just. Oh, I got a, a Pacific person that I listen to. Like, you just listen to what sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So, if you had to give some advice to any upcoming artists right uh-huh. now, what what would it be? Um, my advice really would be like, come up with a plan that you, you know what I'm saying? That you really want to, uh, that you really want to knock out, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and learn how to market, market it yourself, learn how to, uh, know what fan base you want. Cause you know, a lot of artists would just be making a lot of music and not knowing what type of fan base they want. They mm-hmm. just want to make, they just want to make music. Just know, just have everything planned out for yourself because... This game, like the music game, it's not easy, but it ain't hard at the same time if you know what you're doing. 
So mm. I like my best advice is just be know what you're doing. Uh, stay independent if it's possible, but if that's if that's not the the route that you want to do, if you want to just just come up a couple hundred thousands or a million real quick, then do that. But just make sure it's the it's the best. You know what I'm saying fit for you. Mm-hmm. That's it is I'm just saying. out of curiosity. Like, how do you know that you know what you're doing? Because I feel like there's a lot um, of okay. Go ahead. Really, really, I feel like you know you know when you know when you know what you're doing is when like everything is going in your favor. Mm-hmm. Like when you've been making music for a while and it, and, it, and it ain't been working out, and you're like, damn, I'm trying to get this one song, I'm trying to get this hot song. It only take one song for you to, for, for you to blow up. Mm-hmm. You're like, damn, this shit ain't working out for me. I feel like once you get that one song, you know it's working. Like that's when you know it's working. You got that buzz. Your name, your name getting out there. Okay, so we're like at the start of 2022. Where do you think? What can we expect down the line for the rest um, of the year? I got a lot of music that's dropping. Like a whole lot of music, like hot music, like what kind? Some, of- it's, a, it's, a, it's a bunch of music that is it's, it's turn up music, pain music, everything, but. It's good music. Like, it's going to be some of the best music okay. heard, like, this year. So, it's giving versatility for yeah, 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, Definitely. like, collabs or anything we could look out for? Oh, yeah. Um, Drip Check with Lil Reek. I'm saying I remixed that with him on there. So Nice. We about to, about to take that one all the way to the top. You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice. Y'all be on the lookout for that, too, though. For real, for real. Like, remember. Y'all... So, I shot it out first on on, on 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 talk of the town. Feel me on talk of the town. So, so if you were to come back, let's say like five years from now, you sitting uh-huh. on the couch and we interviewing you. Where where would you be? Where do you see yourself at that point? Dumb lit. Dumb be dumb lit by then. Like, What's dumb lit? Dumb lit is like living good, like happy of, about my success. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. Still being me, like just dumb lit. Like I feel like that's that's dumb lit. Like okay. one of the biggest, like one of the biggest in this in the, in the music. Okay. One of the biggest in the music industry. That's dope. That's, that's dope. dumb lit to me. So, is there anything else that you would like to like shout out or mention before we close out? Yeah, shout out Valley Entertainment. Shout out Living Rich. Shout out Talk of the Town. And shout out to all my fans. That's why I want to shout out. Nice. Well, thank you for coming. Right. It was nice having you. Appreciate y'all. So shout, make sure you shout out your Instagram and any other social media too. My Instagram is only number one rich baby. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can look me up on all platforms, rich baby. All right. Well, thank y'all for tuning in and see you on the next episode.